Oh, just an update. Our house has been on the market for 17 days. Um, not going to lower the price yet. I'm thinking around the month mark, we may lower it a thousand or two, something like that. There are about 60 people that have it saved. So when we do decide to lower the price, if we do, those people will be notified about it. What we're currently going back and forth on is originally we wanted to get a motor home and pull an FJ Cruiser behind it. Well, researching the FJ Cruiser in order to flat tow it behind a motor home, it has to be worked on. There's a whole process. We have to take it somewhere. The drive shaft isn't, it's, it's just a whole, it's a whole complicated thing that has to be worked on before you can even pull it behind a motor home. Unless, you put it on a trailer and we're not trying to spend extra money for a trailer. That's one reason that just doing research that I've seen Jeeps, like Jeep Wranglers, you don't have to do, you don't have to work on them or whatever the same way or to a certain extent like you do with the FJs. So that's in part why you see so many Jeeps behind motorhomes being pulled and not Toyota FJs. So with that being said, we kind of have went to the idea of getting a body on frame, big SUV to pull a camper. Now the camper that we would want or need is quite a bit more affordable than a motorhome. However, either way, I think we're going to break even. I do want to invest more into the truck that we get because that's going to be our only vehicle. As opposed to our original plan, we would have two vehicles. So that is kind of one reason why we're looking at older Lexus LX 570s. I know that they are on the same like chassis. They share a bunch of parts with the Toyota Land Cruiser. And I know Toyotas in general, if they're taken care of, will last till the second coming of Jesus. So that is kind of our plan at this point. We're still looking around. Um, of course, as soon as we change our mind from getting a FJ to something else, we start seeing FJs for sale in our area, of course, because that's exactly how that works. I am excited. Um, I'm not like annoyed or impatient yet. I am ready to leave everything behind. He is a bit more impatient than I am, but I know I just have to stay focused on the house is going to sell, everything's going to work out, but also still try to stay grounded, still do my research, still be open to alternative paths and alternative ideas. If option A doesn't work, option B doesn't work, we still need to have an option C. Something with purchasing a used um, LX that I've noticed is 95% of them, almost all of them really, are out of state that are within our certain price point and miles and whatever so we're probably going to have to have it shipped to us and that's going to be a whole new experience because i've never purchased a car online so we're not going to be able to test drive it or anything like that so that's going to be that kind of makes me nervous but the universe is going to fucking work how the universe works and everything's gonna be okay. Something else, I've also kind of rebranded or retitled the name of my YouTube channel to The Compass and The Cauldron. We're gonna be talking about travel, spirituality, the paranormal, and just anything and everything in between. And I felt like it was pretty fitting, so. Until next time, bye.